दूसरा राउंड टू अलॉटमेंट हैज बीन डन नाउ प्लीज ट्राई टू चेक योर अलॉटमेंट ऑन ऑन द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट यू मे हैव सम प्रॉब्लम इन द वेबसाइट नाउ विद इन टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट यू विल एबल टू चेक योर रिजल्ट एंड सिमिलर टू फर्स्ट राउंड यू विल एबल टू चेक द रिजल्ट नाउ ऑल्सो If you have got the seat for the first time, you need to do three things. That is, submit the willingness, freeze, upload a slide, or withdraw. Also, you can do. And after that, you need to upload the documents. That is, your class ten certificate, twelve certificate, twelve certificate. Again, in place of a state code of eligibility, and your, and your category certificate. If you are from reserve category, and if you are from general, you need to provide that. And your medical certificate. That is, general medical certificate in the JOSA format. You need to make. If you have already made, then. try to upload that otherwise you can make it with the help of any government or private doctor and after and that you need to do the payment of 15000 or 35000 according to your category for general ews obc it is 35000 for sc st pwd it is 15000 only once you do all three process no need to worry just try to check the query if they will raise uh, you, you need, need to solve then how and how you will solve i have already provided the discussion in my previous video it is all question answer what type of query need what type of solution and if you so, will have the problem in name correction that is your name here is something and in josa portal in something means in your class 10 or class 12 certificate there is name uh, correction is and in class 10 12 certificate or in josa there is uh, name correction then you need to provide a affidavit along with the certificate you need to provide a single pdf by combining both the certificate that is class 10 or class 12 and affidavit so that they will uh, solve the query and you will able to secure the seat once you do mistake or if you will not pay the fee your seat will be cancelled and you will not able to participate in the upcoming round but obviously if you will not pay the fee and you will be out of the josa counseling then again you will able to participate in csab counseling process that is very important counseling and also risky counseling because once you do mistake you may lose your seat you may lose one academic year and also you may lose your previous seat whatever you have got in josa so in single so, sentence csab counseling is a little bit risky it needs a complete experience if you don't have you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number there is a nominal charge for that so now i will talk about those student who have got the seat for the second time means in first round also you got the seat now you got the change or you have the same seat in both case you need to do the same thing that is only submit the willingness nothing else because you already have provided the documents and already have paid the fee you don't need to pay fee but the important thing is that if you have got the iits earlier you got nit triple it or jpti and now you got iit or vice versa means earlier you got iits and now you got nit triple it or jpti in that case you need to do the document upload again so this is the very important process but you don't need to pay the fee because uh, fee is final that you have already paid you don't need to pay any fee up to 6 round but if you have if you have got the different type of college that is an it plus system to iit or iit to an it plus system in that case you need to upload the document again that is there will be online verification again so hope you get this information very useful for you so please try to subscribe the channel and very soon i will try to provide the cut off trend of round 2 so that you will able to estimate yourself what type of seat you can get in upcoming round and why you have got this type of allotment in round 2 so thanks for watching this video please try to subscribe the channel